Good afternoon, good evening, good morning. This is the Wix online meeting number 96, beginning of February. This is a great month. I'll let you figure out why. These meetings are recorded for those people that are unable to join us right here, right now. Let's do the agenda. Um, pretty simple. Uh, I've renamed the first bullet. We'll do an update on 3103 since we agreed that we have that name, whatever. We will talk about that thing. We'll do a triage, we'll do a pull request review, and then we'll do the usual questions and comments. Um, depending on how many bugs there are, I didn't look very really closely, then we'll, hopefully we'll be a normal sized meeting. So let's get 3.10.3 on our thing. Uh, there will be a 3.10.3. We discussed this last time. Um, I'll get the branch created soon because we already have a fix for one of the issues. So we'll cherry pick that in there and we'll have it and all of that mechanism will be done and out of the way for us. While we wait for the remaining open issue, the GDI plus, which affects wind forms in a major way, or the GDI bug, which affects wind forms in a major way. Um, there is a connect issue open with Microsoft. Um, if you don't know what it is, we can point you at it. If you use wind forms in a bundle, you should go uh, put your name on that thing so that they know that this is important to people. Um, but they know. We will push you on it. Um, I'm tracking it, but there's no progress yet. Uh, my understanding is they've escalated to Windows team because this is in Windows, which I think was the same status I had last week. Um, but I continue to send mail to the people that responded to the <laughs> Connect issue when I knocked it around. And so uh, I'm sure they're going to be tired of me and well, before this thing gets fixed. So um, each week I'll be back here saying what they told me, which hopefully eventually will be something more than they didn't tell me anything useful other than Yes, they know I'm still here. Sound good? And no issues here, I think. It's kind of what everybody's expecting for 3.10.3. And we'll, uh, we're holding for the WinForms GDI bug, um, hoping for a fix or a workaround or something for Microsoft that we can do something useful with. Um, and each week, we'll just keep this on the agenda such that if we are thinking 3.10.3 should go out without this fix, we can have that discussion. I think that we should give it at least another week before we start even thinking that way. So that's, I think, the status for 3.10.3. Next week will be shorter because my hope is a branch will be created and the thing will be cherry picked. So the only thing will be, yes, we're still tracking this issue. Or actually, I take that back. What I hope is that we'll be saying, and the WinForms workaround is this, and it's in the branch, and we're good to go. That would be ideal. That's what we'll work for. Okay. Any other questions, things like that, we can share them at the end because I think it's time for us to do triage. Bob, you ready? Ready. All right. Triage. I got my little thing all set up beforehand. So, oh, I have a mouse cursor for now. I shouldn't say that. Um, all right. Let's see. Files. Oh, this is closed. What is this? Oh, he's asked. Yes, right what are the uh, file versioning rules, and that's what this link is. So this would have been a better thing to have sent to the mailing list to talk about Wix. Wix 4 does not support minor releases. Sean, I assume this means that we don't have the version number in the right place. Uh, we haven't swapped the version numbers around yet, so it's just a matter of going and getting those. Um, I can do that. Um, Bob, you want to give this to me, and I will make sure that, that happens to the build scripts. It's pretty easy. We will have a breaking change at that point, right, where the version number will go back in time, I think. Yeah, we had that for 3.9. Yeah, so that'll be a little bit unfortunate. Hey, look, I lost my mouse cursor. Ah, how frustrating. All right. Oh, well, let's get it over with New Year, all that kind of good stuff. Probably would have been great to do it after. Nah, probably better not to get it all messed up in the reset. Anyway, uninstall apps feature setting on Windows 10 required administrative privileges. Okay, didn't on olders and now it does. And this is the new funky Windows 10 ARP. Oh, it's different. Well, given the other bug that we have there with that Sean fixed, I'm not surprised it's different. Yeah, so we need to send this should have them open a connect issue and open this against Windows 10. There's something different about this thing, the way it launches from the way that old ARP worked, right? And my expectations are going to come back and say, yep, yeah, that's what we intend. Yeah, I don't know. Can you send 
I don't know that you can create bugs via Connect for Windows. Oh, Connect is for Visual Studio, right. Hmm. Well, I mean, they support multiple products, but I've never seen a spot to open Windows bugs. Well, um, we haven't done anything different, so my expectation is that something is different in Windows in the way they launch these things. Yeah, uh, like my comment says, I mean, Burn doesn't launch elevated anyway, so yes. this is not not something that Burn's doing wrong. It's, it's not an I don't think it's an issue. It's a behavior of Windows 10. It was always kind of interesting that Windows would launch things elevated when uninstalling from ARP without an elevation yeah. prompt anywhere. Like you didn't get an elevation prompt to the you ate the programs and features either. So it's like magically you're running elevate. It's like really how'd that happen? No, well, they did magic. So. Um, so they stopped doing the magic. Which I don't necessarily have a problem with. No. That's why I said, I don't know this is a bug. Um, it's a change in no. behavior, but... I, I would, would say they should probably respect the the elevation manifest. Because you don't really want your whole bundle oh, elevated. Wait, are you saying this is a per-user thing? Yeah. Oh... Oh, but again, okay. permission right, so or per user, still Vern's going to launch the bundle as Invoker. So I think this is this is Windows 10 ARP going. Oh, it's an XE. We used to magically elevate. Now we're going to non magically elevate. This is a support question. Let's go kick this to support. We have a discussion about it. If we find that we actually have a bug, then we can do that. This I, this is a discussion. So, yeah, let's go do that on the okay. users mailing list. Quiet exec in deferred mode does not run 64-bit process. We have to pick the 64-bit custom action, probably. Man, this is tricky. But deferred, the problem is the server UAC is 32-bit app. Not if you use the 64-bit quad exec. So I do think, I think I noticed somewhere that we don't have wrappers for the deferred ones or something. Like you have to go use the the full-on name uh, for deferred custom actions. Like you have to go put the define the whole custom action um, element and everything. Okay. That may be what this person's referring to. The server process user for UA this I, I don't know how to parse this second comment though. No, and that's I asked for the authoring, you know, yeah. you can see if there's an you know, an right. obvious mistake or it should be working. Yeah, so we wanna what flag this as not an issue and I, I'm I'm to. happy leaving it. In leaving it in its current state for another week, another week until you know, get some time. All right. It's entirely possible that solved the problem, and you know, the report just didn't. The come latest, back. the latest Wix Secure is not available on NuGet. We don't own that package. Go talk to the two or three people that have published that. We need to get the Wix Four package up there, but we're not doing a three ten but NuGet package. So close that as in it's not ours. Is this really a bug that says hi? Oh, gosh, yes. it's so small, I can't click on it. It was closed. It's closed without comment wow. by the user. Hi. <laughs> uh, thank you for, what was the comment I saw? Someone, thank you for wasting our time. I think that was the comment I saw somewhere else. All right, it's closed. Don't know what they're doing. Uh, failed this. Oh, this user again. This is the same guy that had a problem before with the yeah. elevation thing, right? And I think, again, this is a support issue. There's no, well, there's not enough data to diagnose the problem. But well, and they're returning user failure, user exit, which means they had to cancel somewhere. Right. So we don't tend to send cancel just for the fun of it. Well, cancel is, is used to indicate, you know, like uh, a missing source, unresolved yeah. source. But uh, Yeah, or... Uh, mm, but again, it's not, it's, yeah, it's clearly... You can also get a cancel if you don't answer the UAC prompt. That will also come back to cancel, I think. 
So, True. Uh, which related to the other thing, maybe the same thing, but yeah, just go have a discussion that has issues. Large theme, a stray A character. <laughs> probably. <laughs> it, it, it's true. There, there is an A character there, and probably it shouldn't be there. Although, the I took a quick look at, at Wix standard BA, and it it just it overwrites whatever's present. So, so the A shouldn't matter. A should not matter. Um, All right. So three X, and someone should look at this. Yeah, I think that's cool. There's a possibility there. Sweet. Boom, boom, boom. That's kind of what I hoped. Not too many things. All right. So that triage was fairly reasonable. It's that's not bad, incoming wise. Um. So let's go do a pull request. We're doing a pull request for a bug that we triaged, if not this last week, a little bit while ago. Oh, I had the mouse cursor. Shh, don't say anything. Of the um, reg function, one of the reg utils, not uh, as re I'm hand, uh, handling 64-bit, yeah, reg delete, not doing the 64-bit check correctly. It wasn't doing it early enough or something. Yeah. This. Oh, okay. Can I get a little more? Oh, okay, good. I got it. Whew. Right. So, what are we doing? We're getting the SAM and all that kind of stuff. We used to do that before calling reg delete. And now we're doing the same check for the SAM up here. And then we actually apply it to the reg open. Yeah. So they basically move some code. You know, it looks like this if delete tree was like inserted later <laughs> above this code, doesn't it? Because like there's an E invalid R check right here <laughs> after it would have done all this. Yeah, interesting. Uh, I don't know. This looks right to me. Why is it that GitHub wants to run Adobe Flash? There's no need for that. No comments? Yes? No? Maybe? People are like, yeah, whatever. They've all gone to sleep. But I think this looks good. Um, this also, I think, has a matching in Wix 3, so that's nice. So we can just kind of pull these both over and carry on, carry on. Small tiny fix, easy way to do it. Um, as always, I don't, I won't hit the button here. I'll go make sure it builds. I'll pull it local, that kind of good stuff. So, simple pull request, which is kind of nice. Um, I hope eventually, not eventually. I hope soon we have a pull request where we review the GDI fix. That's my dream, or that we don't have to do anything and they just fix it in Windows and call it good. Magically fix it in Windows. Other things. What are people thinking? Stuff going on? Questions, comments? Working hard? Cool. Pull request soon? No. Um, oh, Jacob snuck in. I missed that. Um, uh, no comment from Microsoft on GI Fix yet. They are still looking. But I have more names of people that are looking, so I guess we can keep listing people to go poke each week. Anything else? Going? Going? All right. I think we're good. Uh, this is nice. Nice short meeting. Fairly well contained. Understood. Um, we will have some excitement around the 3.10.3 again. Um, and we will not next week maybe the week after, um, sit down and I think we need to talk about our plan for 3.11 and for 3.4, uh, for 4.0, uh, what we want to do there and when we're going to ship them and all that and get on the same page. Now that the security thing seems to kind of be mostly for all intents and purposes behind us except for whatever we do for this fixes. All right. So until next week, I guess 
You guys have a good one? Oh, wait. Jacob is asking something. Yes, we need to get four all ramped up, cleaned up, and going. I agree with that. You need to get people going in there. So, uh, on that note, that's a fantastic note to leave on. Get excited. Four O's coming. Um, all kinds of good stuff. Uh, until next week, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.